I've got this catcher here which fits on that grey mower out there oh, and it's got a crack in it so I've just quickly made this plastic sort of uh, paper sorry um, like template and I'm going to put a piece of metal on this side and on the other side so I've got the piece of metal here it's just a bit of sheet metal it's pretty it's not so super strong but it should um, hold it in place and make it look better so now I've just got to mark out the holes and cut that out and I'll just pop rivet it through I decided not to put a patch on the inside so I just put this on over the outside it, it's pretty good it's going to hold it um, I'd need two people to put a patch on the inside but oh, you won't really see much but you can see some rivets and so now that that looks a whole lot better with that patch on it it doesn't look better but it looks it looks finished I might even just give it a bit of spray paint a bit of black spray paint just to cover it up not not so that I'm trying to hide that I put a patch just to make it look better than having a silver patch on it but yeah so it's pretty easy to put a patch on it does lower the value of course but it's got to be done really to stop it cracking because if another stone hits that it'll just crack it more really uh, I got this whippersnipper um, I got it after fixing a job and then uh, he's given me this to fix uh, I'm going to re-thread the bump feed head. I think these bump feeds are absolutely shit. Um, I, to me, they're the, one of the worst inventions for a whippersnipper. I just hate them. They never seem to work. You always seem to re, um, be re-threading them. Maybe it's just the fact that I just always use cheap ones or I've always given cheap ones to fix. Maybe the better ones on stills and husky, Husqvarna's work better. But anyway... Uh, he said it also didn't even run, and it's brand new, so uh, it has a spark, but I don't have any fuel to put in it, so I've got to go buy that. And also, as Brendan V would know, because I told him in a personal message, I bought uh, 25 lawn mowers and 31 catches, so right now I'm just cleaning up beside my shed where they're going to go. Well, some of them. I'm going to put them down there. You can see all these doormats. Me and my friends took them from people's houses, uh, I've got to get rid of them so my parents don't see them, but anyway um, yeah, so hopefully they're going to go down there so this is pretty much what's down the side, these bikes there's a few good bikes, a free agent uh, Eluda, that one, I found that one and this um, GT, this blue one, which are good bikes but bikes are so cheap now, I'll probably just throw them out which is a shame, because they probably are worth a bit but obviously now they're not because the bikes are so cheap. So these are the catches I've already got from just over the years. All these ones here in this pile need a bit of repair work. So they've either got cracks on them, like that one there has a crack there, that one has a crack. So I'll probably spend a good part of a day fixing them up. That one shouldn't be there. But all these ones are good, at least from what I saw. They're all good. And where's that one I was fixing? Here we go. Here's the one I put the patch on. Just gave it a bit of paint. Not like I said, not trying to hide it, just to make it look better. I'll probably even just put a bit of silicon around the inside on the inside of the crack. I'm gonna sell these two pocket bikes, they're both not running. Uh, you could make one run out of them, but I just don't care about them anymore. I just want to get rid of them, make some space pretty much. So by the time I put this up, I should have the new mowers. It's 25 lawn mowers, 31 catches and heaps of spares so yeah I'm just gonna make some room I haven't told my parents yet because I don't think they'll be too happy but what are they what are you gonna do I'm just gonna get them and put them down the side of the shed and one day they'll see them and be like what uh, it's just starting to rain so I'm just stashing the catches here I'm gonna get some barbed wire for the fence because that's a soccer, soccer oval up there so I don't want anyone jumping the fence and taking a catcher seems a bit weird but you know so uh, yeah, I'm just stashing them here for now. I've got to go. Taylor Swift's on the radio. got to go listen to that. I've just been drilling this hole, and my drill's like... I wouldn't say it's caught on fire, but it's, um... Uh, you probably can't see it, but it's... It's smoking. So, I don't know, it's pretty warm as well. So I just made this... This is just aluminium. So you can see it's got that crack there. So I'm just going to put it in like that, and hopefully that should be good. I was just using my drill, and it's just... Oh, fuck that. Oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> that smokes like toxic or something. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, i got to get out of here. That's like, that smokes like toxic or some shit. Fuck. I'll put this outside. So this is just looking down at all the mowers I bought. 
as you can see, it's more than just one mower. It's um, 25, and lots of catches. I'll just shut the door. Um, I'll really have to take a better video tomorrow of everything. So that's it's really hard to get a scale of how many there are because the camera doesn't capture it all. But they're all too high, as you can probably guess. Um, lighting's not good. But there's heaps of flaps there. They're all catches, and I've got a few weather snippers as well because I sold for. I bought all this for three hundred and twenty-five dollars, and these weren't included. But he said I could just have them. So yeah. Uh, there's lots of more spares. Uh, these are all the spare engines and stuff, and wheels, and the handles. So tomorrow, what I'm going to do is sort it out, and I'm going to make up as many complete engines as I can to just to keep all the parts together and I'll sort through these and put them probably around the back of my shed or beside the shed so that's these will be included in the next couple of videos I make so we should have plenty of videos and plenty of fun and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down how much I bought them all for write down um, you know how much I, how much I spend on each one how much I sell them for so I can actually work out how much I make and it took three trips, well, two full loads with my van and the trailer. And then the last trip was just, just the trailer we filled up, which was pretty empty. We didn't need to tie anything on because it was all below the sides. But tomorrow I'll have a better video up, probably the day after, I don't know, whenever. I just want to put this up to show, show you what's to come.